In this short video, I'm going to show you how to add an event calendar to your Shopify store. Now, unfortunately, since Shopify doesn't support this functionality by default, what we need to do is use a third-party platform. Don't worry, though, it's completely free and also very easy to set up. The first thing I want you to do is to go ahead and click the first link in the description of this video, which will take you to the Elfsight platform. Now, once you've clicked the link, this is the page that you're going to land on. From here, head over to widgets in the top left corner of the screen right here, and then underneath tools, look for event calendar as you can see mine is about halfway down right here so i'm going to click on that and then that's going to take me to the event calendar widgets page from here scroll down a bit and you will see the create a widget for free button right here click on that and that's going to take you to the template section now on the left hand side here as you can see you have a bunch of different templates that you can choose from for your event calendar you have team game schedules you have upcoming webinars you have movie show schedule you have university events and so on and so on there's plenty of different templates that you can choose from and on the right hand side here as you can see you get a little preview of what each of these templates is going to look like now i do want to mention that it doesn't matter uh what the design looks like here because you can customize pretty much anything that you see on the screen anyway and that will be in the next step i'm going to show you how in just a second but for now based on what you need uh in terms of your event calendar go ahead and choose the one the best kind of suits your needs also here on the right hand side you have a mobile view so if you click on that it will automatically shift this template into a mobile view so you can see what it will look like on a mobile device in my case i'm going to go for the team game schedule because i like the look of it and it looks pretty good for this tutorial so once you're ready with your template go ahead and click on continue with this template in the bottom left corner of the screen right here and then this is where we need to enter or connect the event calendar either with our google calendar if you already have all the events on the google calendar or alternatively you can uh, manage your events manually now let's go to manage events manually because i don't have it in my google calendar so i'm going to click on the first option here and as you can see here are all the different events that i have on my events calendar so um yeah that's basically if i want to add a new one i'm going to click here fill in the information and then as you can see it will be added right there in this case though i'm not going to touch this because um, i like the look of it and this is just a tutorial so it doesn't matter really here you also can add past events if you wanted to add any events that have expired or have they just been um, you also have event types venues host a bunch of different options uh, that you can choose from here then on the left hand side you can see layout so this allows you to change the actual layout of the um, event calendar so if you don't want to build this like this you can make it into a grid like that or a masonry or a week or a month or a slider whatever it is that you want then you have style so you can change the background colors the headers the event the pop-up you can even add custom css if you wanted to i'm not going to get into too much detail about every single setting here so i'm going to leave this up to you to kind of figure out and customize the event calendar to your liking and once you're ready and you want to move forward go ahead and click add to website for free in the bottom left corner of the screen right here once you've done that, in a couple of seconds, your widget will be saved up and then you'll be taken to this page right here, which is where we now need to publish the widget. So in the top right corner of the screen, where it says published right here for me, you will see a publish green button. So click on that and then you'll be taken to the plans page. What we need to do here is choose a plan. Since this is the first widget that we are creating through Elfsight, we can actually go for the free plan right here, which as you can see supports one widget. But if you want to use more than one widget in the future or now, or if you want to unlock more functionalities, then you can go for one of the premium plans right here. As you can see, they have plenty of different options that you can choose from. But for now, I'm going to go for the free plan here. As you can see, I've already selected it. So if you want to go for the free plan, click on select right here, and then you will be taken to the page where you can copy the code for your um, event template. It will look just like this. So from here, click on copy code, and let's head over to the Shopify editor so we can integrate it. Now, Integrating it is super easy. Go to your editor, then go to sections right here. And as you can see, I'm on my home page right now. Go to the page where you want your event calendar to be, and then go to the template section of that page, and then add section here. And then this window is going to pop up. From this window, scroll down, and then you will see custom liquid. Click on that. And then as you can see, custom liquid has been added to the template kind of section here of the home page. So double click on this, and then you will see this liquid code box right here. So go ahead and paste the code that we copied previously from L side, and then click on save. And then in a couple of seconds, it already has actually added it. As you can see, it's been added to my Shopify store, and this is what it looks like. Don't worry about this here. This is only visible to me just in case I want to edit the um, widget or add any future events or kind of get rid of the old ones if I wanted to. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me just make it full screen so you can see. That's what it looks like. Everything is completely interactable, as you can see. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how to add an event calendar to your Shopify store. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out.